hi this is for all my dear students who consider math as a superpower i wanted to talk about some elementary concepts of differential geometry that uh, i could not explain in class and this is my first video lecture this is for you uh so i'll start with my first definition something called as a tangent vector field of a surface okay i actually wanted to talk about uh, something called as covariant differentiation but the definition of covariant differentiation needs something called as uh, the tangent vector field as we all know that the tangent uh, 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 any vector field is basically a function from a higher dimensional or a multi dimensional set to another multi dimensional uh, set in the same way here we as a particular case just replace the domain as by a surface and the co domain by a very special vector space associated to the surface called as a tangent space okay so what is the definition of a tangent vector field so a tangent vector field is a function it is a function that maps every point on a regular surface every point p on a regular surface to a unique vector which we will denote by wp on <coughs> should say in in tps so it's basically a function w from uh, s to <clears throat> r3 that sends every point p to wp that belongs to the tangent space so that's a tangent vector field so diagrammatically so if s is a surface i'll make the copy of s over here so every point p is mapped to this is my co domain this is the w so every w is mapped to a wp which is a tangent so if there is any other point p tilde here of course the tangent space will differ this will be p tp tilde s and uh, the vector will be something different what comes to my mind is when i think of a tangent vector field is uh, a sphere that has a lot of fur on it and uh, when you blow air on the sphere uh, like maybe from this direction all the fur on the sphere will be like like at least for this upper hemisphere it will be somewhat somewhat like this so you can say that this 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 part is like this part is the tangent vector field over there like every point is associated to a vector there okay this is just for uh, an intuitive understanding through through geometry okay the next definition that i wanted to give you was 
tangent vector field along a curve when I say a curve I mean a regular curve along a curve alpha in a surface So this would of course mean that there is a surface and there is a curve alpha lying on the surface and uh, the story remains the same. We associate every point on the curve to a tangent to the surface. Now when I say tangent associated to a curve the first thing that would come to our mind would be the tangent of the curve but here I am not in particular talking about the tangent of a curve. That could be of course a particular case but it could be in this direction too or it could be in this direction or it could be in any direction. So basically at every point we are associating a tangent vector, a unique tangent vector. Of course we need a function, a well defined function. So at every alpha t we will have the tangent space at alpha t of the surface and a unique tangent. So of course when the point changes, the tangent space changes and there will be another tangent vector we have in, in our hand. So basically a tangent vector field along a curve alpha in a surface is a map. It's a map W from uh, you can say the image of alpha which lies of course in S to R3 that associates every point alpha T to a vector In the tangent space at alpha t. I'm sorry, alpha t of s. Okay, so that's the tangent vector field along a curve alpha in a surface. Now I can talk about something called as the covariant derivative. So it's a covariant derivative of the tangent vector field along a curve alpha lying in a surface yeah this is the definition I know it looks a bit long so what does it mean Actually, it means simply the derivative of this is alpha, which is a map. This is alpha t that moves. This is a map alpha from uh, minus epsilon to epsilon. And uh, of course, w is a map from uh, this alpha of i to uh, r3 that maps every point to the to a point to a vector in the tangent space so when I say the covariant derivative of tangent vector field along the curve alpha it simply means the derivative of this function this composite function w or alpha from the interval minus epsilon to epsilon to r3 that's d by dt of w of alpha of t but when we take the derivative of w of alpha of t of course it's going to be a vector in r3 but this vector may or may not lie in the tangent space in the tangent space t alpha of t s It may be projected a little up so 
so we are interested not in this derivative we are interested in the reflection of this derivative of this vector on the tangent space so this is that vector on the tangent space this is my t by dt of w of alpha of t and this is the what should i say the projection of this this vector inside the tangent space so when i say projection i'm projecting it along the unit normal field n so this thing that you see in red yeah i mean there are too many things in red i'll make it another color this this green stuff that you see is the covariant derivative which we denote by the w covariant derivative of the tangent vector field w along the curve alpha so intuitively it is clear but what is the definition mathematically so d w along alpha the covariant derivative of w along alpha yeah at at a point t is simply equal to how do i write now this was this was my d by dt of w of alpha of t and this was the normal and what i did was i projected it along this and yes i got yeah this is my covariant derivative so if you use the triangle law of vector addition it is clear that it is this vector so this vector is basically this vector minus this vector okay what is this vector it is d by dt of w of alpha of t and minus this vector now what is this vector this vector is basically the projection of this this derivative on the normal and how do you write the projection it is d by dt of w of alpha of t in a product with n times n n being a unit normal vector we don't need to divide by the norm square because it's equal to 1 okay so that's the definition of the covariant derivative and uh, i'll meet you in the next video thank you so much